What's up, vinyl community? Clip the vinyl cheapskate here. Oof. Got some uh, state of fear playing in the background, and uh, it's about that time to do vinyl finds, which this is one of them. Uh, great American hardcore band, super crusty, DB in the 90s, uh, great stuff. Love that band. Uh, finally got somebody put out the discography uh, on two LPs. It's that and this other LP that I also picked up. I ordered these from France, but uh, Fight Your Mind Records. But uh, I should have waited because they're starting to pop up in U.S. distros now. So, but that's all right. I ordered straight from Flight Your Mind Records. Great label, check them out. Uh, but yeah, that's first Vinyl Find. That's what we're doing today. We're doing March's Vinyl Finds. Uh, not a ton this month, but some good stuff nonetheless. Uh, mostly online finds, but a couple that weren't. Uh, so yeah, that was the first two, State of Fear. They did a good job on these. This one came with a nice, fat booklet. Sick stuff. A bunch of cool flyers and stuff on the inside. Pretty sweet. It's a good package right here. Super happy about this one. But yeah, State of Fear. That's the first Final Finds for this week. Uh, it's been a rough week, so I didn't do a Friday night video. Just doing my Saturday afternoon video, I guess. Uh, the light keeps fading in and out. It's driving me nuts. I'm going to go turn on my other light, and I'll be right back. I think that's a little better. Anyway, yeah, that was the uh, first one, State of Fear. Next, another big, crusty punk run that I picked up very recently online. Uh, those State of Fears just came today, Saturday, so they almost didn't make this uh, March video. But the other one I picked up, Wolfpack box set. This I was stoked about. Uh, came on, it was online, uh, 60 bucks, so I put a bid in and I won. So not too bad, not too shabby, good price. But a uh, great collection of all the Wolfpack stuff before they turned into Wolf Brigade. Uh, came with their two 7 inches. Hellhound Warpig. Bloodstained Dreams Denied. And all these bad boys came on uh, gray vinyl. They're all the same color gray. So they all match. So it came with two 7 inches, and they're three LPs, All Day Hell. Lycanthro Punk. And New Dawn Fades, which I already had a copy of New Dawn Fades, but... To get all of it all at once was pretty sweet. Came with this sick little patch too, nice silvery threads. Pretty cool. So I was pretty stoked to get that in the mail yesterday, or two days ago. This was like two or three days ago I got that in the mail. So a lot of really recent pickups on this bad boy. But yeah, came in a nice hefty box. It says Wolfpack right on the side so I can find it real easy. And uh, yeah, great stuff. Uh, a couple more things I just got in the mail. These are more uh, eBay finds here. Uh, and then the last four that I'm going to show, they're the ones that were picked up at the, sh at the record shop. Uh, but yeah, finally picked up a copy of this. Black Sabbath's Greatest Hits. Uh, I've got all these songs on other releases, but I'm a nerd for Black Sabbath, and I've wanted to pick this one up for a while. Uh, this is on the NIMS label. So European pressing of some sort. I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where this was released, but it's definitely a European pressing. 
Uh, great track list, of course, because it's Black Sabbath's greatest hits. So, all the ones you'd expect. It's all the big name songs, but still, pretty sweet to get this. I've been waiting for a while. Wanted it for a while. And I found it for a good price. Went for it. I'm not sure if I showed this one or not already, because I got it pretty early on in the month, but I don't remember showing it in one of my videos. But uh, Venom, Calm Before the Storm. Uh, this is Venom. Like this, I think this is the mid 80s, like 87 maybe. When did this come out? Yeah, I think this came out sometime in the mid 80s. This is a repress. On black, back on black. Uh, on super duper clear vinyl. But this was Venom, they were trying to be a little more, uh, I think they were shooting for a little more of like a mainstream hair metal sound a little bit on this. But I kind of, I, I kind of enjoy it. I think it's a fun, fun album. Uh, not my favorite Venom album, but still a good Venom album. Nonetheless, uh, I enjoyed it and cool to have in the collection. Always looking out for Venom records. Venom's one of my favorites, so pretty sweet. And Last Metal, this was a big one. Uh, another one that I got on eBay, and I bid on it, and nobody else. Another Back on Black reissue. Witchfinder General, Friends of Hell. Pretty sick. We'll give it a little boop. Try not to get taken down for that kind of stuff. But yeah, Witchfinder General. Great early Doom Metal stuff. Uh... Sounds a lot like Black Sabbath, but in a good way. Great band. Uh, this was on, I think, this is just straight black vinyl. Yeah, black vinyl. But yeah, Witchfinder General. Finally got some Witchfinder General in my collection. I haven't picked any of it up because it's always too expensive. And I found this reissue for pretty cheap. I'm pretty stoked on it. Uh, first side of that record's over. I'm gonna flip it. I'll be right back. But yeah, Witchfinder General. All right. So I've got four more. These are all rock and roll records, except for one. I'll show that one first. Uh, still sticking with heavy metal on this one. Yeah, kind of rock and roll, but uh. These were all picked up. These last four were picked up last weekend at my one of my shops that I go to a bunch, Wax Atlas in Baltimore. Uh, these are not in the greatest shape, but the prices matched matched the condition, and all the records play through. The records aren't in bad shape. The sleeves are a little rough, like this here. This is a little rough, but the price was right. And pick this one up. Scorpions taken by force. Uh, great rock and roll, heavy metal, uh, when Scorpions were kind of transitioning out of their like hard rock phase into the heavy metal. It's Uli Roth era, there's Uli. So, pretty sick stuff. Great, great album. Steam Rock, Steam Rock Fever, all, all, all the songs on here are really pretty solid like this is a solid record taken by force by the scorpions uh been collecting more scorpions over the last couple years i've always kind of liked the scorpions but never really uh, dove into them and i'm finally diving into them real hard the last like couple years like two three to five years i've really been diving into them but pretty sweet scorpions taken by force Now we're going into more straight up rock. This was a, this one I was a little disappointed in. It was a little warped one and I didn't notice it, but it was only five bucks. So Trapeze, you're the music. We're just the band. Uh, bluesy rock stuff, a little hard rocky, uh, but good stuff, power trio. Trapeze, good 70s rock. 
I uh, can't play the first song really though, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but still pretty good. Uh, a couple weirdo rock ones that I got. Uh, first off, I'll show this one. Mirslav Leotis, the Magical Shepherd. Uh, cool, kind of fusion-y, uh, rock, fusion, prog rock. Really good stuff, though. Uh, really enjoyed this record. Uh, just weird stuff, nice to space out to, hang and read a book or something. Just really good stuff. I'm actually probably going to listen to this next, just because have it in my hand and I, I've listened to it twice and I want to listen to it again but yeah really cool stuff but yeah check this guy out if you get a chance just look at him you go wrong and last but not least uh, Centipede September Energy uh, this is kind of like a super group orchestra but this really leans really harder into the jazz rock and jazz fusion slash uh, free jazz on this really weird record kind of tough to wrap your head around at first but I've listened to it t once and um, I, I kind of like it and I can tell it's one of those things where I'm gonna have to listen to it a couple more times uh, I traded for credit and I used all the credit to pick up this record in particular. It's in like perfect condition. Uh, but yeah, it has something to do with Robert Fripp. It's got, yeah, the, there's a list of names a mile long on here. And I've, I, I recognize some of them and I don't recognize others. But composed, it's a, uh, I think it's composed, yeah, by Keith Tippett. But yeah, September Energy, look at the list of names on that. It's like, the, all these people are on this record, which is insane. And it's double LP, RCA. But nice, good stuff. Uh, very happy to pick that up. But yeah, that's it. That's my vinyl finds for March. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good little haul for the March month of March, I think. But I got like six, seven, Eight, nine, like 13 records this month. Pretty sweet. Plus, last week I picked up all these. Remember, the last week was this Japanese. So check out last week's video where I talk about all these Japanese CDs that I picked up in one lot. Uh, I actually forgot to put one of those in there. I got a Deathside Live CD that I'll listen to next video and I'll make sure that's background music so I can show it off. But anyway, uh, that's what I got for March. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Sorry I missed you last night. I'm pretty good about that I think I've been on a pretty solid streak and now I gotta take my son to go see the new D&D movie so hope everybody has a good weekend and cheers oh might hop on the stream later tonight keep an eye out for uh, Doctor and the Kids stream always a good time cheers everybody